Hello everyone. Uh, today I want to break down uh, Todd Hutchins' ballistic training, otherwise known as CNS programming. Um, CNS programming is the training of your central nervous system and how you're training it is you're teaching it to be more explosive and aggressive at specific points in a targeted area. Um, so if you are using it for bench pressing because it's more of a power lifting known training method, uh, you would stop, you'd set bars in like a power rack and you would press into it at where you would get stuck, um, the finishing point or right off the chest, and then you would hit into it, press for about four to seven seconds. I wouldn't do any less than four seconds and I wouldn't exceed seven seconds because it's very damaging. Um, ah, damaging is a bad word. It's very <laughs> aggressive towards your um, nervous system and it can cause some fatigue, some major fatigue in your muscles and your um, response. So best practices and negatives of uh, CNS training, programming. Uh, CNS programming is very good utilized for a like block periodization or maybe once a week with not a whole lot of sets and reps. It's not something you should slam into more than um, once a week. And it's, it's very fatiguing on your muscles. So if you continuously do stuff throughout the week, It'll be very difficult to actually continue with your regular workouts. Um, that's the negative side of it is it's it's very fatiguing to your muscles and very uh, burnout is the best word for it. Your muscles will burn out, your tendons will burn out, and it'll be hard to keep keep going. Um, so best practices of it is just do like small sets, reps, um, and then if you're going to do it for like a block set, maybe twice a week, I wouldn't do it for more than like three or four weeks. So my suggestions and how to use CNS programming in your regular arm wrestling training. For me, I would do it like once a week. And I would offset it with the day that I would do my actual team arm wrestling. Because doing that and you're on team arm wrestling, your muscles and your <laughs> your brachialis is going to be really sore. Your elbow is going to be insane. Um, it's going to, you're going to feel it. Uh, how I would do it is I would also stack it with uh, a full range of motion as well of the same action. So if I'm pulling from the side, I would do a full range of motion from the side. If I'm pulling from the front, I would do a full front. I would superset that. Um, so how I would do it is um, let's say that I'm going to do two sets, superset, um, stopping in the center um, from new push position. So I would hit in, and I would hold it and I'd apply as much pressure as I could um, for five to six seconds. And I'd stop. I'd give myself about a minute, um, two minute rest, and then I'd do about 70% of my max, and I'd rep it at a, well, I'd basically hit into it as fast as I could for one to four sets. And then I'd repeat this um, maybe two more times, um, or I'd only do it once or twice. And then I would extend my blocking point and I would hit into a further, to a pinning position. And I'd do that for one or two sets, repeating the same thing. Uh, that way that you're getting blood flow into it after you're hitting it, and you'll actually see that you're more explosive after doing this. Equipment wise, um, you can use any handle. I use a conic handle. Um, I have the, I use a arm assassin pulley system. Um, I've slammed this thing all the time. It's, 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 it's not gonna break. Um, I use just a regular strap. Um, I use a band because my elbows are still getting used to like hitting into something fixed. Um, that gives me a little bit of a Slowing down, you know, gives you a little bit of resistance. Um, I would suggest using a band. I wouldn't 
Brawl hit into a fixed point in the beginning um, out of risk of injury. It's a final wrap up. CNS programming, phenomenal tool to utilize for your uh, your training regimen or whatever you want to call it. I know that I'm going to incorporate it into my training from now on. Uh, I've already noted it in there and what days I'm going to do it and stack it with what. Uh, but this training is not for the faint of heart. Um, it is, you're going to be in a lot of pain. You're going to be sore. You're going to struggle to work out the next day if you even can work out the next day. But you're going to get strong. You're going to blow past plateaus that you may have had. Um, and if you set it up in the neutral position, you're probably going to have significant improvement just and the ready goes. If you enjoyed this breakdown um, of this training program and would like to see more, feel free to subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. Let's get savage. Ready?